All right, it looks like we're live. Hello, everyone. My name is Kirk Shinta Turnipsey, and I want to thank you for joining us today. We are speaking to digital marketers in this Zoom and also aspiring digital marketers, I would say, as well. And I'm talking to a uh, digital marketer and dad, Justin Springer. I'm going to give him an opportunity to introduce himself. He has made over $100,000 with digital products and digital marketing. What he's going to do today is walk us through a simple three-step process that he has used in his business so that he can uh, you know, be able to earn six figures plus. So you're going to learn this uh, three-step process so that you can use it too, all right? So, Justin, I'm going to pop it over to you. If you could go ahead and introduce yourself, uh, tell us where you're from and a little bit about you. Yeah, uh, good. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me to do this because this is awesome. My name is Justin Springer. I'm a digital marketer. And like she said, I made over $100,000 last year and projecting about a quarter of a million this year, uh, all with digital marketing and digital products. So I'm happy to do this because I'm a huge advocate for the industry and all different sides of it, which we'll get into probably later on in this discussion. As far as me, I'm just a I'm just a guy from Texas. Uh, I live in Garland, Texas. With it's just me and my daughter. Um, mm -hmm. I love to travel. Uh, I, that's kind of and I love experiences. So that's kind of why I ran to the online field a long time ago, anyways, to try to learn this stuff. Not only because I knew it was going to try to help me in the future, but number two, it's come on. I was working crazy hours as a gym manager. I didn't like it. Uh, the money wasn't enough, especially nowadays. Money is just not enough as it used to be. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. So mm -hmm. I knew that I I had to get online and I had to up my skill and I had to figure this out. And um, which we're going to get into this, too. But I've chased so many online programs. It's unbelievable. And so I was just happy to find digital marketing and everything that's in that umbrella. You know what I mean? So. I'm so excited to, to talk a little bit deeper about that so that people really understand the difference between some of the other models, which are similar, like, you know, and digital marketing, but we'll get into that. So can you give us a little bit into your backstory? You kind of touched on a little bit, but give us your backstory. Like, how did you start with digital marketing and where are you now? So um, I, I used to get into a lot of trouble. A lot of people don't know that about me. Got, you know, unfortunately I have a felony on me from a long time ago. And so um, my job or, you know, I wasn't going to move up the ladder in a career. Let's put it like that, right? Not a lot of people are look, were looking at me because of my background. Mm -hmm. um, thank God uh, my brother was managing a gym and he said, hey, I can get you a job. They'll overlook your background. Let's just get you in. Well, I took off and I, I went up the ranks and they started allowing me to manage multiple gyms, which was phenomenal. The problem is I was working crazy hours. And like I said, the money is just it's not where you think it is for working 60 to 70 hours. A week, right. 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 So this guy comes in my gym and he's working out in the middle of the day. And I'm just super jealous because I'm like, this guy's driving a Mercedes. He's working out in my gym in the middle of the day. And I'm over here working until, you know, nine, 10 o'clock at night, and I can barely afford to put food on the table. So I'm like, uh -huh. what is this guy doing? Well, at the time, he told me network marketing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to, like, talk bad about it, but I've had multiple bad experiences with network marketing. Oh, so me that, too. That's just me. So I was like, I am not doing that. But then he came to me and he said, oh, we have an online twist. Now, it was all a lie because they really just had an app, but, but it intrigued me. I was like, oh, online, that's the way I need to go. Anyway, so I went online uh, with this network marketing business because I thought they had something unique and come to find out, it just fell flat on my face. Mm -hmm. And that's about the time I think me and you kind of like met each mm -hmm. other because that's when I got involved with an affiliate program uh, called MCA. Yeah. And, you know, at first it was the same thing. I was just trying to figure it out, but I was like $40 to invest. I can, for I can pay $40, right? You know yep. what I mean? And then all of a sudden I started making a lot of money. And then I got it up to a point where for a while there was doing like two to 3000 a week. So I was like, okay, this is the way I got to go. Right. Yeah. And then, you know, once that kind of crashed, um, I just started kind of jumping from place to place. I couldn't really find my home. Mm -hmm. And I noticed I was always just kind of just chasing the dollar thinking that this was going to be the next big hit. You know what I mean? And though I probably made some money, nothing was sustainable. Nothing was consistently coming in, nothing to where I could just really count on it. And instead, I found myself just jumping from thing to thing because that was the only way that I could go make some money. Oh, let me hop on this new thing to hurry up and make some money to float me for a few more months 
while I look for the next new thing. You know what I mean? And yeah. I did. I, I wanted to stop that. I wanted to stop that because it, it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. I can so relate. And as I'm listening to you tell your story, um, I'm, I know we're going to get deeper into this as we go deeper into this interview, but something you touched on, um, some people can relate to in uh, online marketing is uh, joining programs, uh, joining biz ops and having the rug ripped as soon as you gain are gaining momentum because the program changes, you know, the program shuts down, all of these things. And you and I, I mean, we were both like, oh, this is great. And we we're making great money. And then boom, program just changed their compensation plan. Their goals are compensation, right? So these things happen with the affiliate program. So I love uh, what you're going to talk about, the three-step process and also the vehicle that we're using because you can really have more control of your income. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. You know, it, it was funny. And it, this is not to make fun of anybody. This is to say this is what woke me up. Uh, you know, you know me, I've been doing a lot more marketing nowadays on TikTok and everything, right? Mm -hmm. And so I decided to go back to Facebook. And I remember I made this post one time and it blew up, right? I was just mm -hmm. like, who wants to run with this new business, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, that's what we all do, right? Come on, who, who wants to make some money, right? And, and then I left Facebook and I went back. I said, hey, I wonder if I can make that post again and get a whole bunch of new leads. So I make it again. Everybody that was commenting literally commented last time. And I was like, and this was like months apart. So I'm like, man, have y'all not found anything in the past few months to change? Like, I was like, oh man, I'm starting to be one of those people. Like I'm, I'm that person too. I'm like, mm -hmm. nah, I got to change that. I want to be right. more reliant upon me. So I love it. Um, so you shared your story. Everyone who's watching this video really wants to learn about these three steps, right? So what are these three steps that got you to over $100,000? Can you share those with us? Yes. Let's dive into it. So here's the thing, guys. Uh, I, I kind of talk about these all the time. <laughs> and I want to do some prerequisites. Number one, it's going to be in digital marketing, digital products. So if you're trying to be a drop shipper or a day trader, it might not be for you. But number two, um, there's simple steps, but not easy. The reason why I dumped it down into three steps is to keep your focus, right? Because if you guys are anything like me or you do relate to my story, you know that besides just jumping from program to program, we can also get into that whole shiny ball syndrome thing mm -hmm. to where we don't just stay focused. And when we start looking at other people, we start comparing ourselves, right? And I wanted to get out of comparing because comparing is just so detrimental. So Let's get into the three steps. So step number one is what I found is that most people, they're not going to give me money out of sheer sympathy, right? Mm -hmm. So with that being said, we obviously, step one, you got to have a product to sell. Now, I like digital products. And the only reason why is because I don't have to deal with any manufacturers. I don't have to go ship these things out. I don't have to keep any inventory. I don't have to do any of that. I make it one time or buy it one time or whatever the case may be. And then now I can sell it over and over and over again, right? Now, there's three ways that you can get your own digital product. So number one, you can go create your own digital product. So you can go to canva.com. Uh, you can go to system.io. You can sign up for free and you can create your own digital product. It's exactly what Madison did. Madison Cox, she was going to Disney World all the time. And she said, you know what? I just want to make a Disney World travel guide to kind of help other families as far as what hotels are best, the rides are best, whatever. She had a $20,000 a month selling a Disney World travel guide Ooh. that she created. <laughs> crazy right so but then the, the the thing comes into play where we're like okay well justin that sounds phenomenal but i don't know what to teach people i don't know what to talk about okay so there's another way you can go to system.io you can sign up for free you can go to the marketplace and from there you can become an affiliate and there's a thousand different products there so that means you sell somebody else's product for a commission now that's great but you don't always know what you're selling you know what i mean so the third option would be resell rights. That's where you sell somebody else's digital product for 100% profit. Now, when you first heard that, I don't know if you were like me, but you're like, why on earth would somebody create a digital product and let me have 100% yeah. profit? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and then I started learning about business and I was like, oh, okay, wait a minute. Every time that you go make a sale, these people are getting a buyer's lead. And if you know anything about a buyer's lead, once you buy, there's a 90% chance you're going to buy again. So they're going to sell products down the road to these people. The benefit for you is you can get this product. You didn't have to create it. You already know it's a hot product. You, know, you now have the resale rights. You don't have to keep any inventory of it. 
So you can go start selling it right away and go ahead and make some money, which is mm -hmm. kind of what me and you do, right? Yep. Uh, while we're giving this valuable information. So step number one, go get you a digital product. And there's three ways that you could do that, okay? Step number two is now that you have this product, you've got to have a way to be able to take a payment, right? You don't want to just, you know, it's kind of like a job. You're not going to accept the job until you know how you get paid, right? Okay. So um, I highly recommend uh, two sites, which is either beacons.ai or stand store, because you can go there and set up a storefront in like about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. It takes uh, 20, 30 minutes tops, right? Not even, yeah. Yeah, not even. You're ready to go. Now, a lot of people would disagree with this because they would say, no, you got to have a funnel. And I'm 100% with, down with a funnel and everything. But what we're starting to notice rolling into 2024 is you don't need it to make money. It, it's beneficial, but you don't need it. In fact, there's a lady named Maria Wint. She made $3 million last year selling digital products. And in the middle of the year, she said, you know what? I think I'm just going to run everybody to my uh, checkout page. And for those that are kind of new to that terminology, it just means, you know, you have uh, your product and a way to buy. It. That's it. So stand store and beacons, they will set up storefronts, which is almost identical to that to that model. So you just send everybody there. That way they can buy the product. OK, so uh, step number two, there you go. You're going to set up a store. And then step number three, and we can go on and on and on and on about step number three. But I'm going to try to kind of just nicely brush over it. All right. And get these people some very good value. All right. Step number three is we need to attract our buyers to us. Now, thank God for platforms like TikTok and Instagram and even YouTube, but they're short. They're changing the game a little bit because what they're doing is they're noticing that, hey, we just want to put good content out there and let the people decide what they want to watch rather than we just say, hey, this person has a lot of followers. So you want to watch these people, mm -hmm. right? So with that being said, that's why with TikTok, you can go create a brand new TikTok uh, page today and you don't need a following because your video is going to get pushed out to people. So the trick is we need to attract these buyers. Now, how do we do that? There's two concepts that people need to understand. One, <laughs> people like to buy, but they hate being sold to, right? True. But number two, people do not come to social media to buy. If that was the case, everybody that's watching this video right now would have a credit card in hand, right? But they didn't. They come to get inspired, informed, or entertained. And it's out of being inspired, informed, or entertained that they make a buying decision, right? Mm -hmm. So with that being said, we need to stop selling and start telling. And I tell everybody, share your experience. Your experience influences people, right? If you think about TikTok shop or something that's even a little bit more common, Amazon influencer program. Have you ever been to Amazon, the, the website now? Not every page, but sometimes you go on a page and there's a live video of somebody sharing their experience with the product. Well, they're paying millions of dollars to reamp that. They're paying millions of dollars to those people to make them do this. Why would a multi-billion dollar company spend so much money on that? Because they realize that people influence people. Everyday normal people talk about their experience with a product and it influences other people to buy. In fact, I was trying to take my daughter to see a movie one day. I was like, hey, let's go see this movie. She was like, no, we can't see that movie, dad. They said it was bad. And I was like, who's they? She was like, TikTok. So somebody had a bad experience, talked about it, and influenced her to not want to go. Right. So what we want to do is we want to take this same concept and do it with our digital products. So why do you like your digital product? What are you learning from your digital product? What led you to your digital product? Uh, how are you benefiting from your digital product? How are others benefiting from your digital product? What's your goal with your digital product? If you would just wake up every day and share that experience and, you know, because every day you're learning more, every day you're doing more. So just keep on sharing that experience and that journey. You can make money. And that's the three steps. I love it. Love it. It's so simple. And really, anybody can do it. I think I think a lot of people think that you have to be a guru or, you know, like you said, influencer, which you are an influencer if you're out there sharing your journey. A lot of people don't mm -hmm. understand that. But it's as complicated. I mean, it's as uncomplicated as sharing your journey and your story and just being consistent with that and inviting people to go with you. It's that simple. Yeah, it, it attracts them because we're we're those type of people, right? We we want to see like, well, how did it work for you, right? It's kind of like if we're standing by a stove and we can feel the heat and somebody reaches out to touch it, we're kind of like, well, hey, you touch it, let me know what it does to you, right? We're one of those people. So when you take that leap of faith and you take the first step and then you give back to people, people are influenced by it. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They just want to learn. They just want to be like, how did it work out for you? Oh, hey, man, I just made $500. Oh, my God. What'd you do? Right. So now they want to know. Right. They want to know the steps. Um, Let me see. I wanted to I wanted to shift gears a little bit and start going into um, the roadmap 3.0 as a resource for digital marketers and aspiring digital marketers, um, especially those who are looking to make passive income with digital products. So can you tell us how you got started with the roadmap 3.0 and um, why do you use it for digital marketing? Like, why do you use it? Why do you use it to make money? Awesome. Great question. Because when um, I first got it first got presented to me, um, I was marketing something and I just I was I was kind of really focused at the time. So I just laughed it off and I just said, ah, whatever. Right. I did. I didn't see the vision of where we can take it because I was still in the make money online business opportunity aspect of everything and not understanding. And then I noticed I made some good money. People around me made some good money, but there was some group of people that were making tons of money, Mm -hmm. way faster, way more legitimate, way more relying upon them and their skills and not so much relying upon the next opportunity or the person promoting it. And I was like, whoa, I was like, what are they doing? And I started noticing some common, you know, denominators like, okay, they were all branding themselves, meaning they weren't just talking about a little gimmick. They were actually talking about them, their experience, right? Which is in a form of your brand, right? Everybody thinks brand is like colors and, and those do add to your brand, but your brand is you, right? Mm-hmm. So they were branding them and then they were talking about their skills and they were talking about their experience. And then they started creating like their own digital products. And I was like, what? I was like, what, where are we going with all this? And and they weren't shy about it either. They were talking about it because I used to be like, oh, you don't have to do anything. Like trying to make it easy on everybody. Like you can easily make money. And that's the flaw, right? Our way of doing it is just trying to make it so easy on other people that they're not really learning anything. They're not really applying anything They're, you know, and they just think, oh, it's a push button. I just make all this money fall from the sky. No, it takes work. Anything that you got to do, you know, different is going to take work. And so I didn't like that. I was pushing that. So I I got into the roadmap to see what it was all about and come to find out it was a course that taught you everything, meaning how to create your own digital products, how to brand yourself, how to market, how to tell your story, like principles because there's so many courses out there nowadays, right? But this one is really relied on principles to where if YouTube goes down, TikTok goes down, it's okay. You know how to tell your story on any platform. You know how to brand yourself and you know how to create your own digital products. On top of it, it allowed you to resell the course for money as well, right? So in case you're working on your next project, you could at least be going and selling this, you know, making some money. And I think for me, the main reason why I went to it is one, I was excited to learn all this stuff because all those people that were branding themselves and making like $300,000 in nine months, $400,000 in 11 months, $200,000 in five months. I'm like, whoa, like they all credited this course to doing that for them. But what it really did for me is to put it back on me and brand myself and be reliant upon me, right? Because I was like, what's something that nobody can take away? Your brand and your skills. Nobody can take that away from you. You you just said it earlier. Comp plan changes over here. You're out of there, right? Business goes down. You're out of there, right? This person. And I used to always say, but yeah, but once you know how to market one thing, you know how to market everything. Fair, true. But at the same time, are you really building something that nobody can take away and that you don't have to fall and then rise back up again with your new thing? You know what I mean? That you just stay climbing the whole time. You touched on something uh, near the end. You know, that's the other thing that people don't want to talk about is when these programs do things like that, where they shut down or um, they change the compensation plan, anything like that, you know, you lose momentum. Uh, It's crazy. It's almost like rebuilding from the bottom all over again. Um, Yeah, you know what to do to start over, but you have to constantly keep starting over. Right. Where if you have your own digital product, you could be like, okay, I'm selling my own digital products. Same process. Right. Yep. Yeah. You you don't falter. And you're right. You know, like people always say, 
you know how the, all those people always say, well, they made money fast because they already had a fall and they already knew what to do. Yeah, but you don't understand that it, it's like building that momentum all yes. over again all and trying over to get again. excited about something new. And then the, then the questions come, why did you choose this one over this one? And mm -hmm. it's like, it's like, well, cause that one went down. This one, this one's good. And then you almost feel like you're not lying because you don't want to believe it, but you are lying because you're trying to sell people on this. Like this one's better than that one. And then this one ends up doing the same thing. And so now mm -hmm. you just feel like, all right, now I'm just lying about everything. Even yeah. though that wasn't your intention, right? Right. You want to be authentic to yourself mm -hmm. and to your audience and all yep. those things like that. And I think that it's time for people. I mean, the the, the reality is um, almost everybody has a, a digital product within them. Um, I, I, you know, I've shared my story on YouTube, so this isn't anything new, but I'm a caretaker. Um, I'm in a group where people are begging for guides for caretakers because no one knows what to do when they have to become a full-time caretaker. They don't know how to navigate Medicaid and Medicare and uh, all of these things like that. You know, these are things that if you have knowledge and whatever it is that you do, uh, being a better teacher, um, all of these things, you can create digital products that people will buy in mass. Right. Have you have you heard about a lady named Miss Excel? No, I have not. Oh, okay. the Excel lady that was on tick, um TikTok. Yes, I have heard of her. Right, but it, it, it but did you know her story? She worked for corporate uh corporations and she was teaching people in meetings and everything how to use Microsoft Excel to do better spreadsheets for the business and things of that nature. Well, when the pandemic happened, she lost her job. Ooh. And she was yeah, she was laid off, she was flat out of work. So she created a core because everybody kept telling her, well, they kept coming to her asking her questions about mm. because they were like, because now some of these people were now working from home on Zoom and mm. they had no idea on what to do. So they were like, can you help me with this Microsoft Excel? I got a, you know, I got a presentation in an hour on Zoom. Right. So and I don't know what to do. So she said, huh, I'll create a course, digital product. Now she's a millionaire. Oof. Yeah. Tell just, me. Talking about Microsoft Excel, like yeah. what she loves. Like I, I would have never thought anybody would have bought those those courses, but there's a need for it. Yep. Crazy. Yep. Um, so you shared with us how you got started with the roadmap and why you use it. Um, like how how has the roadmap benefited you personally in your uh on your digital marketing journey? Like how has it benefited you on your journey? Well, I, I guess I jumped the gun with that one because you're right. Like how it benefited me was just to, rem to remind myself to brand myself. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like why well, I got the shirt on now and things of that nature. But number two, uh, get back to sharing my experience and to make sure that I'm set up with my own digital product. So, um, and I don't want to, I don't want to like deep dive into it too much just because I'm on your channel, but it's more or less that I have like an, an, my own digital product. Right. Yep. that I'm also building. So I'm pushing the roadmap to influence other people because a lot of people always ask me, well, why don't you just recreate the course? I could, but it's such a good course. I'm like, ah, why? Right. Why? Like it's, right. Yeah, it's already <laughs> set up. It's already working. Why, why, why do I need to do that? Why not just put a, um, a digital product based around the things that I like, which you already know mm -hmm. I'm into making money online, but I'm so much more into making uh, or talking about personal development. Because I feel like they go hand in hand. There, Absolutely. There's a guy named Myron Golden that said it best. And I'm I'm not going to get this correctly, but he said, having a, a successful online business is easy. Becoming the person that runs that successful business, that's the hard part. Yes. And so I was like, yeah, I love talking about that. So I love talking about making money and I love talking about, you know, mindset to help you out. So I started creating digital products based off that. And the roadmap helped me with that to take that idea and then put it into a product that now I can go off and make money with. So. I love it. I love it because it's around something you're passionate about instead of just creating a product, just to create a product. But yeah, I like that. hundred percent. So um, I want to talk about how the, how you see that the roadmap could help aspiring digital marketers um, on their journey to creating consistent income online. Uh, with digital products. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah. So there's two ways that it can do. Obviously we can resell it and that's a great thing uh, because you're helping other people, you know, develop their skills. But number two, what I've noticed is that there are still a group of people out there that they get caught up in that 
well, I just want to hurry up and make money, but mm -hmm. I don't even really like what I'm promoting, right? And so what the roadmap can help you do is get back to branding you and what you do like about. Like there's some people that love the law of attraction. They could talk about it all day, right? Mm -hmm. So they literally could go create a TikTok and just talk all about law of attraction. But then they can turn around and create a digital product around what they love, like a digital gratitude journal or Hey, here's my ebook of my seven steps that I use every day to manifest my wildest desires. Or here's the seven steps I use to manifest my special person in my life. The sky's the limit to then down the road, you can have a $400 course or a $300 course teaching people how to you know, manifest, right? But now they're more aligned and they don't mind talking about that all day, right? Mm -hmm. Where some of these people are like, hey, you want to make $1,000 in 10 minutes? but they've never made a thousand dollars in 10 minutes. Right. So they feel uneasy about what they're talking about. They don't even know if they really like what they're promoting. They just see this person doing that and making money. So they just follow suit and say the same thing. And, but then, but there's no authenticity in there because they don't even really feel comfortable with what they're talking about. So right. for new aspiring people, you have two options. You can take this course, learn everything you need to learn to go out there and you can start selling it to make some money or to go out there and start adding to your own portfolio with products that, you know, are aligned with what you love to do. Right. And, you know, there's, I always bring, uh, bring this up and this is something a lot of people don't understand. Um, we, we kind of talked up about this is the skills can never be taken away from you. What a lot of people don't understand is um, the skills that you learn from email marketing to storytelling, to how to post on social media platforms like TikTok and YouTube and all those things like that. They're not just skills for you. You can also make money offering those same skill sets to uh, to business owners. I did consulting for years uh, to supplement my affiliate income, and I would charge businesses a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars a piece just to do things I already know how to do, like set up an autoresponder and put some emails in it. Right? These are these are digital marketing skill sets that you can learn, and you can do whatever you want with them. 100%. I, I'm glad you said that, too. That was actually brought up by somebody else. They said each almost little thing within inside the roadmap can be considered your own form of business as well, because you're right. We I forget that often. And the reason why is because maybe I have been in this game for a little bit. So I'm like email marketing. Oh, come on. that Everybody should know that. But surprisingly, people don't. They don't I, know. It. I know when I go to my gym, they laugh at me because not everybody. I'm not TikTok famous, but a group of them, they know what I do. So they just laugh at me. So they'll say, hey, so you make money on TikTok. What with TikTok shop? And I know and I say, no, digital marketing. And they're like, what is that? Right. Like they have no idea what it is. You know, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Yeah. No one that. can ever take it from you. Um. So we, you kind of touched on this a little bit, but what makes the roadmap, roadmap 3.0 different than what you see that's out there? Yeah, so that's a, a great question. I'm not knocking any course, uh, you know, of course, because like a lot, of, a lot of these courses spring from the roadmap, and they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. They're 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 taking their knowledge and putting in a course that, to help other people. So kudos to all that. The reason why I think the roadmap is the best one still to go with is number one, beginner friendly. Two, um, you know what I mean? It it's what all these other courses aspire to be like. But number three, I, I think it's going to be the the principles and the foundations. Like, like there's a course out there, and I won't mention the name because I don't want people thinking I'm bashing it. But it it talks about some crazy cool tactics that you could use right now to make some money. Here's the only downfall with that. In about a month or two, we all know TikTok is going to make an algorithm change, or YouTube is going to make a policy change, and then those mm -hmm. tactics don't work, right? Right. But the roadmap has principles that always work. Once you learn how to brand yourself, can't you always know how to brand yourself. Once you know how to do email marketing, which is going to be around for a while, once you know how to do digital products, which the e-learning industry is expected to hit uh, over a trillion dollars in 2030. I mean, these are things that are not going away. And then the principle of storytelling, I mean, that's exactly what marketing really is. Um, you know, you see it sometimes of Walmart running a sale, but then sometimes you hear about Walmart telling their story of how they've always done things. You know, Walmart for low prices, because that's the story that they've all the brand that they've always carried for years and years and years. Well, mm -hmm. you're just doing that same principle on a smaller scale. 
with your own personal story. You know what I mean? And so that's why I think the roadmap still reigns over all these because they don't have to update it as much. Every now and then they'll do some little updates that they see growing, but the principles are always going to be there. Thanks. I like it. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the business model of creating passive income with digital marketing products. Um, why might, why is this, why is now the time for people to consider this model versus maybe some other business models that are similar, like affiliate marketing, like some of the other business models out there? Well, you know, I, I think with the skills, uh, that you can learn from digital marketing, it's just, it's going to last a little bit longer. I mean, the thing about it is, is when you go to Amazon right now and you go get a paperback book, it's like $7. Now that paperback book is a physical book that they have to create and then they have to pay to ship out. But the Kindle e version, which is a digital product, is like $12. And they only had to create it one time and they let you buy it over and over again. Now you say, well, why is that? Wouldn't the markup be more on the physical product because they got to spend more money? Wouldn't you want to have a higher markup? Well, the reason why they know people are going to pay for convenience, right? And so digital products are just not going anywhere. I mean, like if you think about just my situation right alone, I made a one-time investment and made over a hundred thousand dollars. Now, you know, you're only 25, so you don't know anything about this. I'm 41, but, <laughs> to, but you know, but back in my day to make that much money, I would have had to what go get either get a second job or go back to school, get in debt. Um, you know, hopefully a teacher passes me to then hopefully get a job to then hopefully get the right, you know, pay, right. That, you know, they offered based on my uh, career choice. So, where now, instead, I pay one time and I get the conveniency to learn from my home and then go apply what I just learned. It's the same thing of why does somebody not go to a gym to sit into a whole sales pitch to get a personal trainer that's going to oversell them versus somebody online that can say, hey, for $100, I'll write you a program and I'll write your uh, macros and then you just follow it. OK, yeah. hey, I'll give you $100. I want the conveniency and I can get the information now. So. I just think that digital marketing sky's the limit and it's not going anywhere. So why not get in something that can develop your skill that is going to serve you for years? Because yeah, affiliate marketing will always be there. But if you notice, we talked about it. Number one, the make money online programs, they just come and go. So that's up to you if you want to keep jumping. But I know one thing, I see a lot of people that jump, make a lot of money and then they're still at their job. Right. But then the second thing is, is just on other affiliate programs, the, the the money just keeps getting lower and lower and lower because they mm -hmm. have to, because with the cost of goods, they can't afford to always just go ahead and pay out an affiliate. That's why you would think a big brand like Target or Amazon would have a strong affiliate program, right? But mm -hmm. they don't. It's a mm -hmm. small percentage. Now, yeah. if somebody comes in and buys a whole bunch of product, yeah, that makes sense. But otherwise, they, they don't. That's why everybody started switching over just to the Amazon Influencer Program because they actually pay more. You know what right. I mean? So, but if you're going to go ahead and, you know, talk about physical products, why not have your own digital product that you can earn a hundred percent profit? Right. Yeah, it's definitely a business model that people need to consider. Uh, Cause like I said, you know, one of the, the strongest things is just not only learning the skills, but not, it, it prevents that biz op hop that you see in the industry that has such a stronghold um, and that you are building a model and a system and framework where you can kind of insulate yourself from all of that by knowing that no matter what, you always have a way to create your own storefront, have your own products in there, rather they're from somebody or somebody else or your own, you can have your own storefront and you just keep promoting your storefront and you just keep going about your business. That's it. <laughs> That's it. You just keep you just keep doing that. And that's why some people they'll throw in different things in their storefront. They'll change it up when they go on to either their new thing or their new product or if they've updated a product. And that's it. And that's all you got to keep on doing. And, right. and you're still in that same business model to where you're not always constantly trying to say, you know, it's like MLMs, right? They're always saying, oh, this one's better than the last one. Or this one has no recruiting. It's like, man, it's just all played out. I mean, why not just say, hey, listen, I got a product that's helping me with this. If you want it, cool, go to my storefront. Right, right. That's it. I love it. Um, I think you've answered. Um, so 
if someone's thinking about getting a roadmap, why why should they act? Why should they go ahead and get the roadmap? Because you want to go ahead and invest in your skills and your skill set right now. I mean, you know, and down the road, we're going to be, you know, more into AI. And I know some people, they uh, they get apprehensive about that because they're like, well, okay, well, AI is going to help do all the digital products. No, they won't, right? The, the idea is to use AI to help you with your digital product, not to take over your digital product. Because, you know, yeah, I can maybe get it to write me an ebook, but it's kind of like, well, one, okay, I get it to write me an ebook so I can go sell that too. But, right. but number two, the problem with AI is they're only going to give you these facts. They're not going to share a story within that ebook. So it's right. not going to be that beneficial because the story is always going to win. But yeah. with that being said, if we know that we're going to go that route, the e-learning industry expected to hit a trillion, AI, all that stuff, it's, might as well go ahead and get started now learning that skill because before some of these other jobs go away, you're already going to be developed now to where you know how to make money off of it now, right? Correct. And then that way, as we roll into 2025, 26, 2030, you're already set because you know what to do. I love it. So I, you shared your your three steps. Um, I'd like to end with maybe you sharing an additional nugget for uh, for digital marketers that they could use, you know, something actionable, an actionable tip uh, to help them build uh, income with digital products. Anything you'd like to share? Well, yeah, I mean, we already talked about a lot of it today. Like, obviously, you know, get with, get with her and hurry up and get the roadmap right now to start developing your skills. But also, remember to work on you, your personal development, because your business is a reflection of you, your mindset, right? You can either sit there and say, oh, well, hey, you know, TikTok is going to go down or I, I don't know, it seems like it's saturated or something like that. And those are all just limiting beliefs and excuses to deter mm -hmm. you from what you need to be doing. You know what I mean? The fact is, if you're looking at your life right now, you're looking at your bank account, you're not happy. That is a reflection of what is going on with you, either by your experience, your thoughts or just your skill set. So why not invest in you into something nobody can take away? And that way you don't ever have to be relying on anybody else. So work on your mindset and invest in your skills for business skills. And I promise you, you can't be stopped. Golden, golden. I mean, lady. like, well, I mean, in, I mean, that's <laughs> the thing. Like, we we forget that personal development spot. I'm telling you right now, like, just go. Like, I don't care what it is. If you need to go read more, get a coach. Oh, and that was my last thing. Get with somebody that's already living and doing what you want to be doing, right? Yes. Get with that person to help guide you, right? You know, it, it's kind of like why me and you clicked up because we're like, okay, hey, we both got the same mindset to go this way. And we both see that vision of where digital products can go. And you need to be around those people because sometimes the closest people around you, they're not going to support you. So that's, we need people facts. like me and you to be right there for your corner. So that's facts. Good stuff. Um, so I, I just want to thank those of you who are watching this. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I hope that you really... Uh, understood what Justin was trying to convey in this uh, interview uh, slash training today. And I really do hope that you got some good nuggets about how you can make passive income with digital products using the Roadmap 3.0. Uh, make sure that you get back to whoever showed you this video for their link. Um, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace out. There we go.